Hello friends, welcome back. In today's video, we'll be talking about JDK and how to install one onto our systems. But before we move on, I want you all to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out any notifications. So let's get started. The agenda for today's video is we will look at what is a JDK, types of Oracle JDK distribution and how to install Amazon Corato onto a system. Now, let us understand what is a JDK. JDK stands for Java Development Kit. But before we move on, let us understand what is a SDK, which is Software Development Kit. So basically, SDK is a set of tools to build or develop an application for a specific platform or a language. In this case, if you're using it to build Java application, it is called as JDK, which is Java Development Kit. And it is distributed by Oracle. Why Oracle? Because Sun Microsystems was acquired by Oracle in 2010. So now Oracle is responsible for distributing all the tools for developing Java application. Now let us look at the types of JDK distribution. So Oracle releases two types of JDK. One is the Oracle JDK and the other one is Open JDK. So what's the difference between two? The Oracle JDK is charged for commercial use and open JDK is open source, which means anyone can see, modify, and distribute. But the codes in both of them are same, right? So only difference is with the pricing. For the Oracle JDK, if you're using it for the commercial purpose, you need to pay so that you receive regular updates. While for the open JDK, you won't receive any updates. So the basic difference is with the pricing and the policies. Since Open JDK is open sourced, many companies have come up with their own versions of Java. Like we have the IBM, Red Hat, Amazon, then we have the Alibaba. So all these are like uh, based on Open JDK. And since it is Open JDK, they can modify, right? So like the Alibaba has their own version called the Dragon Bell. So it is not for commercial use, but you know, it is used internally so that they can optimize their e-commerce platform. We have the Amazon Coreto, which is like basically optimized for AWS. And the one which we will be interested in is in Amazon Coreto. Now let us look at the last part of the video, which is installing Amazon Coreto. So let us dive into the system. So you need to fire up your favorite browser and search for Amazon Coreto, right? And you just need to click on the very first link which appears on your screen, which says Amazon Coreto production ready distribution of OpenJDK. You click on that link and you should be displayed this kind of a page, right? And on your right hand side, you will see this download Amazon Coreto 8. Now you click on that and a new tab should appear. Now need to scroll down. Here you will find a table where we have all the OSS and the respective JDK download links. Now you need to search for your OS. Since I'm using Mac OS, I'll be searching for Mac OS JDK. So you need to scroll down and yes. So here are this Mac OS 64 bit and this is the JDK type and this is the download link. So I need to click on that and my download should be started, right? And if you're using Windows, you need to search for Windows. There's like x86 is for 32-bit Windows. So you need to click on this .msi. And same if you're using it for 64-bit, you need to click on this. But make sure you download JDK, not the JRE, right? If you want to develop applications, okay? Now click on the file which you have downloaded, right? So I have this file, I click on that file and we have this Amazon Coreto 8 installer. You click on continue, install, and Mac is asking me for my password. So I enter my password and I install software, right? And yes, it's installing. So let's wait for a few seconds, right? And yes, the installation was successful. So I hit close. Now we need to verify that Java is indeed installed onto our system or not. So if you're on Mac, you need to open a terminal. And if you're on Windows, you need to open a command prompt. And 
since I'm on Mac, so I'll open a terminal and I'll type Java hyphen version, right? And yes, it's installed as you can see it's written open JDK version 1.8.0. And here we have this open JDK runtime environment, correct? Oh, so yes, Java is installed onto a system and congratulations. That's it guys. And if you have any problem while installing JDK, please let me know in the comments so that I can help you out. And thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and see you until next time.